Hi guys, welcome back. It's Alfari, and today I want to take a look at Firewatch. Now, Firewatch is an indie game which has been out for a few years now. It's just I've been waiting to grab it when it comes down on sale. So, um, so obviously when it comes down on sale on GOG.com, I grabbed it immediately. GOG.com or Good Old Games. I'm just trying to move away from Steam at the moment because it's just doing my head in a little bit. Now, um, Firewatch, the whole idea is is kind of in the same vein as another walking simulator but there's more gameplay elements in this one the idea behind the game is you play Henry who is basically a bit of a lost soul trying to escape his past a bit not that he's done anything particularly bad it's just he got married at a young age and explains all this in the intro and that's really cleverly done about the way they've done that kind of gives you a little, little bit of gameplay then a little bit of backstory then a little bit of gameplay and it gives you a little moral choices as well like Stupid things like on the first date with your wife, Julia, what do you do? Do you act all confident and cocky and get a drink? Or do you just start asking her questions and stuff? And later on, it starts getting a bit more deep. Like, trying for children and failing, and then her moving away for a job. And then she gets early onset dementia, and how to deal with that. Um, it kind of gets kind of deep quite early on, really. And then it ends, basically, with um, Julia, he's white their family taking her back to Australia and leaving him alone in America. So the uh, idea is he doesn't really know what to do with himself so he's taking this job as a fire watchman <laughs> in the American wild him. somewhere. I don't actually Why? know where he's set to be honest. Where you're just basically on your own in solitude for three or four months at a time, something like that. And that's where the game starts There's off. A... Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay, I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, <laughs> enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do you guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? And now he's over there with Now... As you'll see, the graphics I find really, really pretty. They, they're kind of like cell shaded kind of... Not fully, but it's kind of like a different take on it. Um, and it's just, I, I love exploring the game. There's, there's not a whole lot to do in the game. To actually finish it, it took me about five hours, I think. The whole game is based around your relationship and the story with Delilah, who is your, well, your boss, really. You arrive, she starts talking on the walkie-talkie. And it's all about the chemistry and building up a rapport and a relationship with them. And the voice acting in this game is amazing. Both Henry and Delilah do really, really add to it. Just if someone's just rhyming off the lines and not putting any effort or thought into it, it wouldn't be half as good. But because they inject so much personality into it, you kind of feel like the real people, and you get into their stories and why they act the way they do in certain situations. And now there is actually a bit of a mystery to the game. As it goes through, you start something isn't quite right with the forest, and it's your job basically to work out what's going on but now I've really really enjoyed my time with it uh, like I said it's kind of in the same vein as walking well, simulator so really you'll have very that. basic elements really oh, you'll that so? pick up items and maybe be user item or just remember a padlock key that's basically all the gameplay elements you'll you have okay. a lot of it's just wandering around uncovering the story and just wandering to be honest now it's probably not for everyone because if you're not into slow moving games it's probably going to bore the hell out of you but for me personally even when the story wasn't happening and you get these little quiet air moments where you can just wander off and do what you want and just go exploring on the map I really love that because the, the music fits it perfectly and it's just like really ambient in the background and you can just wander off and you feel like it is actually a real wilderness so it, look, it looks and feels alive and you can just there's so much you can do in it, and to be honest, when you're stressed out, 
I just love wandering it and wandering around and to be honest I'd probably like doing this job for a month or two just to escape sometimes because obviously I work in a city all the time and it's I kind of feel that need to escape actually so maybe that's just why I fell in love with this game now as the game goes on obviously the story gets more and more deep and he starts covering issues like I don't want to go into spoilers, but okay, what, what happens when adults just run away yeah, rather than dealing you. with situations? Like, Not specifically just Henry, who didn't really have a choice to come away when his wife was taken away from him. But it's things like that, like so every little story you get in the game, it's all about so, people you know, running away from things rather than confronting it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And it's just the plots I really like in this game. And it just really makes you analyse sometimes the fight off light thing you've got inside yourself when a dodgy situation happens or something really bad happens we all get that feeling to just run away and escape it but sometimes being an adult or being a man is just to stand there and take it and just carry on but that's the last I'll start going on about that because I don't want to spoil any of the plot but it's, I really enjoyed my time with it there's not really there's just literally point A to point B I don't think you you get different choices and dialogue options during the game, but I think it's just I think that's just for flavour really. Obviously, you'll get different responses, and they must have recorded a lot of dialogue for this to be honest. But I don't think anything you do will make an impact on the end of the game, because um, I kept trying different things and I kept just still kind of getting the same end. So it's just silly things as well. Like at one point he takes his wedding ring off, and in the ending I made sure I picked that up and just carried it away with me. But I'm not really sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I couldn't get a different kind of ending on it. And the ending did wind me up a little bit. But it does fit in well with the story. So that's all I'll say. But yeah, please give it a look. I've really enjoyed playing it. Um, I, I think I picked it up for about £4. And it's easily worth any anyone's money of £4 this game. And I'm just hoping to do a sequel. Well, we probably got to do a sequel, but another game in the same kind of vein. Because it just feels different and... I just if you let yourself get immersed in the world and just get taken away with it, you'll really love your time with it. So thank you guys, thanks for listening. I shall see you next time. Yeah bye.